everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Lululemon Everyday Backpack 2.0 23-liter. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. All right guys, so I'm reviewing this as requested by one of you. I will say that all the bags I'm showing you guys, like all the bags I'm reviewing, they're all unisex, just so everyone knows, you know. Men, women, anyone could buy this bag. So, this is in the color Gold Spice and Black, and the price is $98. So I'm just gonna show you all around the bag. So starting off, the logo here is like fabric printed on. So that's kind of cool to see there. It does have a zippered pocket down here. You can see it's a pretty high capacity. You could fit a good amount in here. So next we do have this main pocket, but I did want to let you guys know that it does have double zipper. So, so I love having that because you can just kind of, you know, close your bag anywhere instead of at the side. And sometimes that's convenient. So opening this part up, you can see the inside here. What I like about this bag is it has lots of pockets on the inside. So we have first this interior space, then we have this separate part here. It's a really big pocket, guys. Fits my entire arm. <laughs> and then we have two mesh pocketed areas that are separated so you can fit even more in here. Aside from that, two water bottle pockets at the side. And we have a pocket on the back here that's padded that can hold up to a 16 inch laptop. All right guys, so I'm just gonna go into a couple of other highlights about this bag. It's great for on the go, for school and travel, or even the gym. It has a 23 liter capacity, a padded strap on the top, and then padded straps at the back. And the straps at the back are adjustable. It does actually have a suitcase or a trolley sleeve at the back. So you can go ahead and slip this over your suitcase if you're traveling. And it is made of a water repellent fabric, which is excellent if you're ever caught in the rain or the snow, you're gonna keep the stuff inside of your bag dry. And the dimensions of this bag are 11.4 inches by 5.9 inches by 16.5 inches. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what this bag can hold, you know, what I would typically put inside my backpack. So I'm gonna fill this as if I were going to school. You know, I was a student for a while, guys, and I still have a lot of books, so let's see what this can hold. So starting off, I'm just gonna go put my laptop in here. So the padded laptop bag can hold up to a 16 inch laptop. I'm gonna put in my 13.5 inch Surface Laptop 3. Slide it in, zip that shut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my water bottle in the water bottle holder. So I have a 24 ounce Contigo water bottle. I'm gonna put that in the pocket here. And when I'm going to school, I always like to bring like ample water with me just to make sure I'm hydrated. So I also have a 500 milliliter water bottle, standard, putting in the other pocket. So now, opening up this pocket, this is super large, guys. I mean, you could put so much in here. I'm actually just gonna put my wallet in here, put that in here. And I'm also gonna put hand sanitizer and hand lotion in here. Sipping that shut. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some pens, pencils, highlighters and stuff in one of these mesh pockets. I'm going to go ahead and put my planner into this pocket right here. And then we're gonna put some textbooks in the internal space right here, guys. All right, guys, so they do all fit in here. So I'd say you can definitely fit at least three large textbooks in here, maybe even four because we also have my planner in here. So definitely high capacity. If you're using this for school, you are going to be fine. If you're using this for travel or on the go, you can definitely fit like a good amount of like clothes, toiletries, whatever you want in here. And having this separate pocket here, I find really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. So turning it to the side, you guys can see that it is pretty full. And you can definitely go ahead and pull the straps tighter or looser just to get it for the right fit for you. It's easy to adjust them. You kind of just pull right here. And here we go. I have it right here at this link. And it's also really lightweight, so it's kind of nice not having a super heavy backpack. And I just wanted to show you guys that the zippers on this bag are solid. They are kind of a plastic zipper, not a metal one, just so you guys know. Showing you all of them because, you know, if you're buying a $98 backpack, you definitely want the zippers to work, <laughs> right guys? But all the zippers work well on here, so that's not something that you have to worry about. So one great thing about this backpack is that it is suitcase or trolley compatible. Has that little strap right here, so I'm gonna show you how it's gonna fit on a suitcase. So I have my suitcase right here. Gonna go ahead and slide that strap through. 
So you'll be able to walk with your suitcase, do whatever you wanna do, and it stays secure because of the strap, so that's something that I really love, guys. It's not gonna go anywhere on you, even if you're running through the airport. <laughs> really does make it excellent for travel here. All right, guys, so one con about this backpack is the strap on the top here is super thin, guys, but I don't know why they did that because it's uncomfortable to hold if you're holding it like this because it is so thin, whereas the back straps are a lot more padded, so. I feel like they should have added some more padding at the top here. And also, the bottom here is very flimsy. I definitely would have liked to see a harder bottom. I love seeing that on backpacks because when you're loading it, for example, even, it's a lot easier to load it when it could stand on its own versus when it just falls over. <laughs> All right, guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the comfort, the functionality, and the capacity of this bag, I would go ahead and give it an 8.6 out of 10. I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to get the Everyday Backpack 2.0 23 liter, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you. And if it's anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.